I've always liked the SIG 365 and 365 XL, but had one complaint about it, and that is the circumference of the grip. Wilson Combat to the rescue. Stick around. <laughs> I want to welcome you to Rider's Range. I want to take just a real quick look at uh, the Wilson Combat Grip Module for the 365XL. One of the complaints I've always had about the uh, SIG 365, as much as I love the gun, wonderfully accurate, easy to shoot, reliable, 100% reliable, but was the circumference of the grip. Texture's fine, but for me the circumference is just way, way too small to be really comfortable. I've, and I've only got medium-sized hands. I, I know that a lot of people shoot it uh, well, and I can shoot it well, I just have to work at it harder. I initially solved that with the Hogue Hand All Grip Sleeve, which uh, definitely filled out the hand a whole lot more, allowed me to get a, a, a good solid grip with my support hand, but um, and, and it worked fine. It didn't have any slippage or anything, and I didn't mind putting it on. It was a real pain to put on, but um, it, it did the job. Well, recently Wilson Combat just came out with a grip module for the, the 365 and the 365 XL, and it took all of about two minutes uh, or less to install the um, uh, magazine catch. By the way, gun is unloaded. Uh, install the magazine catch that came with the grip module so I didn't have to take it out of my existing grip module and to swap the, uh, the fire control unit and there it is. Wilson makes these for the 365 and the 365 XL and if you have a manual safety you're relegated to black only but if you have no manual safety you can also get the uh, tan or flat dark earth in uh, um, in either 365 or 365 XL. I'm a manual safety guy so that means I'm stuck with black but that's perfectly fine. The grip module comes with just that a, a grip module and the magazine release. Magazine release uh, like I say took job uh, um, half a minute maybe to install, uh, take a, uh, the slide off the 365 XL, put it, uh, swap the fire control group, put it all back together in this total time, maybe two minutes. Uh, price isn't bad either, but and, you know, I'm not trying to sell these for Wilson. I just happen to like it. So the, the complaint about the 365 was an issue. The circumference of the grip right under the trigger guard is only about four and three quarters inches. I generally prefer something about five to five and a quarter. Again, I'm a 1911 guy. and. If I added the Hogue Handall uh, Junior grip sleeve to it, uh, that actually brought it up to right under the trigger guard at about five and one eighth inches, which is fine. There's a little palm swell, of course, in this, but it also makes it fatter than the than the Wilson module, uh, noticeably fatter. And when you measure it down under the the uh, finger groove here, this actually comes out to uh, five and three eighths inches, whereas the original. Uh, measured down here comes out to four and seven eighths. Uh, I'd only change it by about an eighth of an inch. The Wilson's is kind of a good compromise at uh, right under the trigger guard, four and seven eighths inch circumference of the grip, which I like. And uh, down here it's five inches, so it's still a fraction smaller than that with a Hogue, but it does fit my hand very, very nicely. And 12 round magazine inserted, it is just perfect fit and function on this. I love the, the texture. It's got a good solid texture with just plain stippling on the, the back and the front and the, the typical Wilson pattern on on both sides. I haven't shot it yet. Just put it on and uh, ordered it on, I think it was a Thursday or Friday, had it on a Wednesday and good service. But um, I so far I think it's going to do the job. How, a couple of things on it though. One, one is the magwell. And if you notice the magwell difference between the 365 XL and Wilson, there is a pronounced uh, area in the back of the Wilson which is more forgiving for uh, for feeding the uh, the magazine in. Uh, if you end up having a rocket in an angle, that works a little better than the way the uh, SIG is built. Um, and on the inside, uh, you can't really pick it up in the camera there. Uh, the it looks like there's room for some tungsten weights in there. Now they make them for the 365, but I haven't seen them for the XL yet. But it, just the whole magwell seems to function just a little bit better than the than the stock uh, 365. One minor complaint about it, though, and that is the magazine release. And I'm glad it came with one, so I didn't have to swap it out. But if you look at the the difference in protrusion of the magazine release between the factory and the Wilson. The factory magazine release does stick out just a little bit farther than the Wilson. Look at it from the back and just that that 
slight additional protrusion makes it easier to work for me anyway it makes it easier to work the magazine release on the stock grip module than it does on the Wilson still workable I'm um, just might take a little more practice to be able to uh, to get used to dropping the uh, mag with that magazine release. Other than that, it's uh, it's all stock. It does work. The trigger guard shape is the same. The uh, front rail is the same, uh, and the investment in uh, that grip module was to me well worth it. So, quick look at the Wilson Combat grip module available for 365 and the 365 XL. It is a good compromise between the stock and the Hogue, and it fits my hand nicely. And now I gotta load it up and take it out and shoot it. That's it. Thanks for stopping by Rider's Range while we take a look at it.